And that should be live now. Probably. And if not, I guess I'll find out later. Um, okay, so the first thing was that Don had a replay for me to look at. So... Before we get into the Conquer World stuff, I'm gonna get through that. Um, and just before that, for anyone who wasn't aware, like I got really sick, and I'm still a little bit sick. I got sick for like two weeks. I got sick 16 days ago, and I'm still sick. Still a little sick. Not too bad, but you know, not great. I didn't see what map this was, but from this I'm guessing it's Great Lakes. Got a really weird city spawn, like right next to the edge of the map. And like sort of boxed in as well. Not Oh, he's on auto. I was gonna say, I'm not sure what his scout's gonna do in that corner that he didn't already do before that, but yeah, if he's on auto, he's just gonna do whatever. What did you say you wanted to see in this replay? Uh, you did a rush, but it failed. Okay. That's an interesting place for a second city. I would have put it like down here. Get a bit more territory. And get a little bit closer to the middle of the map. Because like if you put it here, oh I guess I'm a little bit biased because I play Chinese. But if you put it down here, the economic radius will still be there for the, the um, forest and the mountain. Chinese, obviously the economic radius is slightly bigger because it's a large city by default. The economic radius of a small city is 20, I believe the large city is 28? I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but yeah, that that will make me biased definitely. And you just discovered, unfortunately, this is a tiny amount of wood. So that kind of sucks. But if you're rushing, it doesn't really matter, I guess. And yeah, it does look like Great Lakes, but I guess everyone who looks at the recording can just wind it back or pay attention, and then yell at me. Uh, interesting. Going for the market. And the commerce to get the market. I would have expected that if you were talking about a rush, hello, who are you? Dutch. If you were talking about a rush, you would have been a bit more aggressive about it. Oh man, haven't gotten that fifth farm yet. Okay. Oh. Well, the first thing I'm going to yell at you about is that you prioritized wood way higher than food, which I don't think is a good plan. <coughs> um, because if you're trying to get classical age, that costs a lot of food. If you're trying to get military too, that costs a lot of food. And if you're just trying to boom, well, I guess if you're doing a really strict economic boom, then Commerce 2 doesn't cost food once you have Classical, but uh, Science science 2 does. Wait, no it doesn't. What am I saying? Science 2 doesn't cost food. Uh, Civic costs food. Civic 2 costs food. And like all these citizens cost food. And Heavy Infantry costs food. And I th think Government costs food. The first Government. Uh, I don't know why you are capping your wood production. <laughs> I really doubt you're going to be researching Commerce 2 anytime soon. That's a bit of a waste. <coughs> I think maybe the first might have been a little bit premature. Because you're not really using the metal we had. I mean, you're about to, sure, but you're not using the metal yet, and until then it's just plus 10 food. Because you're not going to get military 2 for a little while. So, strictly on, like, optimization of timing of when to, when to spend resources to get resources, I think maybe you could have delayed that a little bit more. Uh, University and Senate. I, I think 
Generally, the meta strat is to not put your senate at your capital, just as a small point. Um, I believe your capital has extra border push compared to um, normal cities of the same size. Or well, there's some variation thereof. Something about more border push from having a capital. So that means you want to push it further up. Plus the city that's further up will tend to have like military production closer to it. <coughs> so it's easier to get guys to defend it, I guess. Also, you said this is a rush? Did you give me the right replay? I'm not seeing a rush, fam. I am seeing you booming like really hard and then for some reason being inefficient with your resources. Did I click on the wrong game? <laughs> Pretty sure this is the only replay I've gotten from you. Tower? Okay, if you're building a tower you're definitely not rushing. Just like to point that out. I, I'm, at this point I'm starting to feel like you gave me the wrong replay. Just gonna maybe speed things up a little bit to check on that. Despotism, okay. Okay, there's a barracks. And a stable, but... Dude, this is not a rush anymore. It's too late to be a rush. Look at your resources. This is a boom. And then you're just building some units on top of that. So, if you're asking why the rush failed, I can already tell you ahead of time. It failed because it wasn't a rush. It's like... This is nearly 8 minutes into the game, and you're only just mobilizing forces. This late into the game, this is a pretty small force. And you're you're building more, sure, but you're only building one more and then upgrading them. Like... I don't know, man. Another thing to keep in mind is that... Um... Different land maps, uh can have slightly varying amounts of distance on them. Like, look at the distance between your capital here, well I guess the important one is your production here, which by the way you should have built closer to him, rather than, I don't know, hidden in the corner. I guess if you wanted to hide it maybe, but other than that, you should build it closer so your units get there closer, oh, uh, get there faster, because they have less distance to travel. <coughs> but yeah, um, you, you just see that you guys are really far apart here. So that makes a rush... well... It makes early aggression, because I'm, again, I'm, I'm hesitant to call this a rush. It makes early aggression more difficult. And your scout's nearly dead for some reason. <laughs> Don't know why. Um, I would have liked... See you not go commerce to here, and to instead go medieval and then upgrade your um, guys to Caesar's legions instead of just legions. Would have given you another twenty-five HP, two attack, uh, one line of sight, but who cares? And you would have gotten a. Uh, 5% damage bonus against units in Ancient Age compared to these guys. Which, I mean, it isn't a lot, but, you know, why not? Like, it's a free damage boost. And I think that would be a new, would have been a lot more efficient than going Commerce 2. Because um, the Commerce 2 ate some of your knowledge, which you could have used on the Age upgrade. I'm not... What are you doing? Are you actually trying to get his capital? Dude, it is way too late to do that with this kind of force. Okay. Well, yeah, so like I said, the reason your rush failed is mostly because it wasn't a rush. Um... If you had done this... Um, two minutes earlier, 
you would have gotten this capital, probably. Um, or if you'd started this two minutes earlier. If you did this two minutes earlier, he probably wouldn't have been able to do the barracks and just infinite Q Bowman while also having this temple up to boost his city's health. And he definitely would not have popped medieval if you did this two minutes earlier. And now it's a large city, now you're fucked. Blood City has like a double health, double armor. It's way more difficult to capture. Um, so this technically might be possible because you have the heavy cab to kill the archers, but you're not you're not getting them to hit the archers. The archers are just wailing on your legions, and the legions are just like sitting there, sad, very sad, because they're getting wailed on. Finally, you get your guys over there. Um, I would recommend putting your despot over here, so that these cav have armor bonus. But I guess it doesn't really matter because they just annihilated the archers anyway. Um, uh, these guys are not doing anything, so that's bad. At this point, I would not produce any more units here. I think if you can't cap it with the units in transit, then you you, you have to fail. Like, just accept the strategy has failed. Your despot died. Okay, well that's a mistake. I'm guessing you're about to cap the city and then lose it. And that's actually fine, as long as you stop building units, but you're still building units. You you have barely touched your economy this entire time, even though you have like the surplus of wood to build buildings with. Um, the units that you're building right now, well I guess that's an upgrade, but the units like this guy, this guy... And these guys, they're so far away that they're not really contributing to the fight. Um, like, if I hop over to this guy's resources, he actually has more resources, like, more income production than you do. Even though he just lost his capital. And his capital had a lot of, like, resource production at it. That is a very big problem. Um... But at the same time, the fact that you've forced him to like lose all of his uh, citizens here is quite damaging. Um, but still, like the trade-off isn't there if you don't have your own economy going. Alright, so quick recap of why this didn't work. It was really late. And not just you got there really late, you started production really late. So much so that I genuinely thought you'd sent me the wrong replay. Um, if you're trying to do what you consider to be a rush, they should never be able to hit medieval without dying for it. But this guy built a temple, he hit medieval, he even had a fucking wonder going. And he did double barracks with infinite spam of uh, archers to kill your heavy infantry. Um, that's really by far the biggest thing. Um, your rush was not a rush, it was like a, a waltz. You waltzed over there, you didn't... Sprint over there, you waltzed over there. Um, which gave him spare resources. Well, not just spare resources, but like enough income that it's easy for him to get lots of archers. Uh, let him get a temple, let him get medieval before you finish capping the city. Uh, your despot died, I'm guessing because you didn't micro him very well. <coughs> So you started taking a little bit of attrition, but the attrition's honestly not that big of a deal. It's mostly the armor. Um, especially for the city's attacks. The city's attacks are really weak. So boosting the armor of your uh, legions, or in this case Caesar's legion legions, makes for a significant reduction in the amount of damage they take. Um, I don't know what the modifier is between a city hitting heavy infantry, but if we pretend there is no modifier, which might not be true, um, 9 damage against 4 armor will do 5 damage, but if you 
just give them two more armor with the despot and keep the despot alive. They have six armor and they take three damage. You nearly halve their damage. You make them nearly twice as durable, which is a big deal. Um, the other thing, well, other things, you put your production really far away, which meant all your units get there really slow. Not really sure why you did that, other than to maybe hide it in a corner. Um, I don't understand why you had this tower here. Like, well, I, I, I do conceptually that I could stay to defend the woodcutters, but I don't understand why you're building a tower if you're trying to rush. Um, the amount of commitment you put into the troops clearly indicates you didn't have a strong plan B. Like, this wasn't a let's send in five guys and see what they can do, and if it doesn't work, oh well, it didn't cost me much. This costed you, like, all of your economy to do, but you still stalled out by randomly building this keep. Like, if you commit to a strategy with no backup plan, you can't afford to, like, have this extra drag on your economy. Like, you can't afford to build this if you're doing what you're doing. Um... If he really did come and attack you, or I'm not, I'm guessing the tower is more for anti raiding. But like, if he really does come and raid you, just let him. Right? And then just send all your troops back to home base where he has no resources because he's put them into raiding and just take the city. And you're good to go. But I'm guessing you lose all your troops. Yes. These guys get basically nothing done because they're so far apart and he has the counter units in large quantities because his income is better than yours even though you just killed off like 20 citizens <laughs> um and like you're trying to recover it with a small city but you're already at a disadvantage oh man that's a large city so there's nowhere else for you to attack uh you're you're Attack has failed, you've got to just, yeah, you've got to just accept the fact that it failed. Um, from here, you basically lose the game by default, unless he messes up, just because your economy is so much worse. Look at this, 190 knowledge, 174 wealth, you have none of that. So although you have the basic resources sort of... Uh, vaguely in the same ballpark as him. The stuff that gets you advanced units and like advanced tech, wealth and knowledge, the stuff that's hard to get on a whim, you have none of that. Which means you're just gonna fall behind in tech. You're not gonna be able to afford to build like towers and forts, you're not gonna be able to afford to build as many heavy cav, as many uh range cav. <coughs> and you're gonna lose. Oh boy. At least don't try to do make this work. <laughs> uh okay. I think a smarter use of this force would have been to attack one of these other two cities where his troops weren't waiting. Um What are you, wait, what's this doing? Oh, is that just the supply thing? Okay, well... Yeah, uh, so if we take a quick look at the military graph, even though you're the one that's trying to rush, like, your military isn't really higher until... seven minutes. <coughs> Which is really, really late. Like, I would have wanted to see that sort of five-ish minutes. Um, maybe six, but definitely not seven. You saw the result of, of waiting so long. It wasn't a good result. <laughs> um, I see why you asked about the barracks. And for those who aren't patrons, he asked me in the patron channel on the Discord server whether when you're sieging a city early on in a rush, whether you should focus barracks or focus city. And my answer was situational barracks if you're not sure but sometimes you can cap the city before they have enough troops and if you cap the city it's probably worth it because it's probably their capital 
Um, but yeah, I see what you mean. Ideally, in this situation, if I just go and... Oh, I should have just pressed the button there. If I go and rewatch it, just on like 8 times speed to get to what I want to show you. Yeah, I'm still not sure what, why you you felt the need to do market, second city, all of this stuff. Why didn't you just build the barracks with military one? And just like send with the death squad, send in a, a whole bunch of um uh heavy infantry. Okay, so building up, building up, that's fine. Alright, over here. So you have these guys here, great. You have a heavy cab here, awesome. You have two more heavy cabs that are pretty close by, relatively speaking. These heavy cabs are in an excellent position to just make this barracks build not happen. Like maybe you send one one legion. Four legions can probably stall the city indefinitely. If you sent one legion with a heavy cab to just kill the citizens while they're building the barracks, maybe you can't kill all of them in time. Um, I'm not sure, but even if you didn't kill all of them in time, you make it a fuck ton slower. Um, and all the citizens die, which means you don't have to deal with them later, and which means they definitely don't build the second barracks, which makes it even harder for you. Um, so yeah, just a few things to think about there, but the biggest thing is just <laughs> your rush was really slow, and I'm not entirely sure why. Um, if you were just sort of going for an early attack while hedging your bets with a, a decent economy, I could get behind that idea, sort of, but at the same time I'm pretty sure that going in earlier would have been stronger, even if you did the head bets thing. Yeah, this guy has enough resources to just build. Um, Crossbowman, well, it, like, I wouldn't do what he's doing. I would do crossbowman and heavy infantry here. And then just pop in and out of the buildings that he can. Especially this tower over here. You can get more people in there. But yeah. <coughs> um, because you did this so late, he is able to keep building the stuff here. And. Going back to the concept of Defender's Advantage, Defender's Advantage here is him having two barracks right next to where all the fighting is happening, and your barracks is here. Your troops have to waltz over here, this is roughly how fast they move. You have to waltz over here. Look at how long this is taking for them to move. And in that entire time, he's just building infinite queue because he has production here and he has a bunch of fish and he has production here and he has a bunch of fish here as well. <coughs> so um, if you want to rush do it faster if you want to do an attack this late make sure that your economy is strong while you're doing it so that when the rush well, it's not a rush. When the attack, it's more of a skirmish. When the skirmish fails, because it never, almost inevitably will when you do it this late, um, you can fall back to the, having a better economy because while you're attacking him, his economy is in theory supposed to stall out. In practice, I guess it didn't really do that here because you tried to fix the city, he ignored you with the citizens other than building the barracks. And he went back to unit, well, um, not unit production, resource production. Because I'm guessing he didn't feel incredibly pressured. Either or like he just doesn't know exactly what to do. I'm not, I'm not sure what the situation is. But 
usually with an attack this late and knowing that it's probably not going to work, you can focus a little bit harder on damaging his economy rather than strictly trying to take and hold the city, which is hard to do this late. Um, like, if you just killed all of your citizens with this force and, like, uh, don't have this not built, have this not built, have this not built, don't build any more stuff, don't get this upgrade, pump that... Wow, like, that's a massive float. Put all of this stuff two minutes ago or five minutes ago into building more economy and then your economy will be better than his, probably. Yeah, better than his. Um, all this stuff is in fish, which is great, but you can probably get a better economy than his if you pumped that resource into it instead of these extra units that won't achieve very much because he's building their counters right next to where you're fighting and you have no death spot there. Uh, yeah, so... There's your look at the replay, and I guess that's a slightly more detailed answer to... Oh, hello. A slightly more detailed answer to your question about, like, the rushing thing. I don't know, I don't have a timestamp on when you said you just joined, but... Uh, you can watch the VOD, I guess. I don't want to go through that a third time. <laughs> um... Plus, I have Conquer the World to get to, and like, I haven't done that in two weeks. I've been waiting like two weeks to do it. So. And I'm still sick. Like, holy crap. 